this off season, joining this this franchise, trying to put your stamp on it in, in such a quick amount of time. Does this feel like home yet to you? Well, it's been a whirlwind since I've been here. Uh, a lot to do, uh, but it's all positive. Uh, I think we've had a real good uh, six or seven weeks I've been here. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if I put my stamp on it. I just feel like I'm a, a custodian for Detroit Pistons basketball and the fans. And I just want to do the best I can for the fans of Detroit and, and the organization. Uh, as you, I, Obviously, I've played against, uh, not played, but I, I was in organizations that were against these fans. And they're great fans, so hopefully we can give them what they want. I've grown up in this area, so I, I, I can attest to that and know that. This is... This fan base is passionate about this group, and so to ask you to put a stamp on it in these last few weeks would be unfair because I think a lot of people in basketball saw, okay, the way this roster shaped, adding Blake last year, was a bit confusing to people in this town, to some basketball people, but why were you motivated then to inherit and run this roster and try to create a winning, a winning culture around those guys? Yeah, well, I mean, no roster's perfect, except I guess maybe Golden State right now would be perfect. but. You know, I look at the roster, and we have three very good core players, obviously Blake being one of them. And the more I've gotten to know Blake, I'm very impressed. Uh, extremely intelligent, focused. Uh, I went to a couple of his workouts in L.A. as soon as I got the job. Uh, nobody works harder than that kid out there. And plus, he has a chip on his shoulder because uh, the Clippers told him he would retire as a Clipper. So he's happy in Detroit. We talked about it being here and he wants something to prove. And then you have Andre Drummond and Reggie Jackson, and we have nice pieces around that. So, yeah, do we have to get fortunate? We have to stay out of injuries. You know, maybe someone has to step up that we're not thinking about. All those things are going to be important, but I don't see any reason why, and this has always been my personality, I'll compete against anybody. I don't, you know, we go out there, they play the game at 0-0, and see, let's see what happens. And we got the perfect coach for that, too, in, in case. So to bring him in and, and to be here and, and molding what you kind of had as a small window to make moves and maneuver this offseason, how pleased were you with what you were able to do in free agency? Yeah, uh, we didn't have hardly any money, and we were going into it, and I was thinking, I kept telling ownership, you got to be patient here. You know, we don't have a lot of powder to use the first day, but what was happening that night, uh, I was up at midnight not thinking I'd field any calls, called a couple people just to see what they're doing, but they really didn't care about talking to me because I had no money. Yeah. Uh, but when it became when we had a chance at getting Glenn uh, and we were back and forth, and obviously Glenn liked the situation in Detroit because he played at Michigan, so that was an advantage for us. And so we got excited. We might have paid him maybe a premium, but when in business, when you get an option for that second year, which I think is huge for the franchise, you pay a little bit more. So with the option and what we're paying them, I think it's a fair deal for both sides. What's his ceiling? Because I know, I know Casey in Toronto liked having a big rotation with a lot of different guys, but how can he fit in to, to, to the day-to-day, -to, -day, to, to, to game by game? Well, in the NBA, everybody's looking for young athletic wings. He's a young athletic wing who can make a shot. So we're excited about that. He has to be molded, a case that we have to develop. That's I've talked over and over about this program. We have to develop our young guys. Uh, we have hired a host of young development coaches with our more established coaches. We have uh, Tim Gergerich, who is the guru of workout coaches in the NBA. He's with us. So we are going to put a lot of emphasis on working guys out. Uh, Glenn needs that. I see him being a big part of this, and we have to get younger, uh, and that's what we did in the draft also. We have Luke Kennard. We have to get younger players to get ready and contribute. We can get young and not contribute. That doesn't work. These kids are going to have to contribute. Stanley Johnson's still pretty darn young. Yes. And Andre Drummond yesterday was on Twitter telling people, Jalen Brown is a good player. Stanley's just in that same conversation and arguing maybe Stanley could be better if not for some restrictions in coaching in his past. And it set off a few, a few Celtics fans and, right. and uh, raised a few eyebrows. But do you believe that Stanley still has the talent to be a star in this league? Oh, no question. Stanley's a young guy. Andre Drummond, I think, is 24. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he's talking like an uh, elder statesman here. Uh, but no, Stanley's a young guy. He's got a world of talent. Again, it's the coach's job and everyone in the organization to try to get the best out of him. Uh, He's going to have to show it. 
you know, you could develop and work with him, but he's going to have to show it on the court. Uh, fresh new start for everybody in the organization, which is great. And I think Stan Lee is looking forward to that. How much was hiring Dwayne Casey, knowing what this roster was, a move that you said he can guide these guys because they are young and impressionable and a fresh start could work well with, with, with Dwayne as the coach? Yeah, with Case, uh, he gets the instant credibility. He's yeah. been in the league. He's a winner at a high level, coach of the year, you know, never expected him to be out there. To me, it's to our advantage, the Pistons and the fans, that we got a coach like that. Uh, he demands respect right away. Uh, I, I know because I talk to the players on a, a regular basis, they're excited about playing for him. Uh, now I hear the word that they want to be held accountable. Well, I hear that from all players until you hold them accountable. Right, we'll see how it, we'll see how it works. And I've told the players uh, they want to be held accountable, which I love. And the case will hold them accountable. Uh, but he also knows when to uh, give them a hug and get them ready uh, for games. And hey, everybody has a brand new start here. How much does it help then adding two vets like Zaza and Kelderone? I mean. Both guys that were in the finals didn't exactly get a ton of minutes or make you know a ton of an impact, but they have that experience, they have that pedigree, they they know what it takes to win. Was that something you looked for? In yeah, the I, I, I was with uh, Jose in Toronto. I know what a true professional he is. Uh, he's still good enough to make a play for someone. He's a good open three-point shooter, and with Drummond and um, Blake, we felt that maybe outside shooting would help. He also is huge in the locker room. Every coach needs help in the locker room, and, and we have a young so young team. He can help them mold these guys into professionals. Zaza, I have never been with him, but all I've heard is unbelievable things about him as a person and how he mentors the young kids and the big men and helps them uh, grow as a professional. So I think with the makeup of our team, to have two guys that you can put in an NBA game, they know how to play. Yeah. And uh, yes, they're older, but maybe they can't give you the same amount of minutes. But what they do off the court, in the locker room, on the airplane, uh, I think it's uh, valuable for, uh, for us going forward. So knowing the roster you have now assembled and knowing what the East is, is shaping up to be, LeBron goes West. Where do you see this, this team early on at least being slotted? And, and I guess what would be the goal this season? Uh, the goal, I think the goal always for any franchise is eventually you try to win an NBA championship. That should be everybody's goal. But in order to win an NBA championship, you got to make the playoffs, okay? So obviously that's what we'll be shooting for to make the playoffs. You know, again, maybe it's um, pie in the sky, but again, you compete every night and we have some really nice pieces, some young guys that we have to develop. There's no reason that we can't compete. And as I said, the young kids, someone has to step up and I was, uh, it's only been, we had him a week here in the gym and then we had him in the summer league, but I was really happy with our two rookies that we drafted. I think they have big upside. Uh, they do all the right things from intangibles. They're, they're professional, uh, very personable young men, hard, hard workers. If you have those three things and now you hope that they can put some talent with it, which they showed in the summer league that they have glimpses of that, uh, we're excited about that. And that all goes back to what we said earlier is development. Right. And you'll hear that word over and over because where we are cap wise, as you said, not having a first round pick, we got to develop these guys we have in the gym right now. So from what I understand, I think your coaches are out in LA or they're about to be in LA? Well, some go out there. The okay. majority of our players, I think there's eight of them are in the Southern California, LA region. So they'll go out and you know assist them in workouts one-on-one uh, -on -one kind of stuff and then uh, but in other places we may have uh, we have uh, issues in Charlotte um, Langston is in uh, Louisiana uh, Drummond's in Miami and LA so we'll have guys that periodically go in and check with them basketball coaches well strength and conditioning people go out and then we have the medical people with Reggie's ankle coming off ankle injury we're all over that we got to make sure Reggie is 100% ready to go because he's crucial to our team is there an update on him yeah, everything is progressing yeah. as uh, the doctors uh, expected. So we're, in, we're going in the right direction. To have those coaches and the strength guys and your staff so much on your guys, is that normal around the NBA or is that something you like to put a stamp on? Well, yeah, I think it should be normal. I, I got to believe it is. I've always done that, sent people out there. It'd be in days before though, the basketball coaches, usually the players came to the city, yeah. you didn't chase them. 
but in today's age, you chase them, make sure they're doing it. It's too important. And, and today's player, though, you don't really have to worry about it because most of the players that I've been around, and especially these piston players that I've now I've talked to, they're on top of it. They're working out. They have their people that they work with. We go out and just make sure they're doing what we want. They have their workout guy. They may have their strength and conditioning people. We just want to make sure it's to what we expect from them. Uh, but these kids, we have really, really good young guys in this program. Uh, and I say young, I'm not putting Zsa and Jose oh, yeah. there, but they're two great guys. But they do everything professional, and that's all you can ask of these players. You've been around the game for a long time. There have been dominant teams in every era. But how much does Golden State change the dynamic of this league and, and just how you do things, how teams run their teams? I don't think you can chase somebody like that. Uh, you know, and we're a copycat league. I don't think we you want to be a copycat league. you got to figure out what your your talent is. Our talent uh, or pos positional talent is not like Golden State. Right. We have more traditional. We have two bigs. So we have to figure a way. Case has to figure a way how to be as good with that kind of talent, and that's the way. To chase that talent, how many Durants are out there, how many Steph Currys are out there, I, I don't think that's the way to go. Um, and I would, you know, coming from Memphis a few years back when Gasol and Mike Connolly was healthy and we had Zach and Tony, Golden State didn't want to see us much. Right. And we didn't do it their way. We just beat them up uh, and played half-court basketball. So there is ways. Yeah, Golden State, three out of four years. Bobby Myers, great friend. I'm happy for him, but I, I want to beat him. I'd like to <laughs> taste it. How much does helping, uh, as I understand it, the left side of Steve Kerr's brain and bringing him to your staff, how much does that help? <laughs> That'll be interesting. Uh, Sammy uh, is coming with us. Uh, I interviewed him out in Vegas with all the other people. We were very impressed by him. Uh, he's an interesting character. I think you, people will see him before the game on the court. He doesn't look like a typical workout coach, <laughs> but he has a lot upstairs, and uh, Case has embraced the analytics of basketball, which I think in, in this day and age you have to. Uh, so we're really happy of adding uh, Sammy uh, to our team. It's a promotion? I mean, from the, the job he was doing, he's getting more responsibility here? Is that what I I'd understand? I'd say it's similar. Yeah. I'd say it's similar, and uh, we need his help. He's, I guess he's got three rings, too. Yeah. So, I mean, if it's a similar job, then how the heck do you pull him away from Well, from I guess, you know, every, everything changes, and this is a, a, a challenge for him. Okay. and. Uh, we're real excited about having him around. All right, I'll let you go on this. Just when you walk into the gym here and the guys are spread around the country or wherever they are, there's not much you can do with the roster at this point. So what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis as you get ready for camp to start pretty soon here? Well, I, I like to bounce with the ball. I'm a, definitely a gym rat. I've been my whole life. Uh, I'd rather have the players here in Detroit, but that's, that's unrealistic because they go different uh, areas. So I'll travel uh, out to different places to see them. Uh, we're work, you know. I just we just finished summer league, so we're wrapping that up. I'm big on uh, once we do something to sit down. What went right? What went wrong? What we, can we do for next year? We're working on vet vet camp coming up, yeah. preseason camps coming up. So we're working on that. Uh, we're always looking to see our roster and how can we make it better. Right now, everybody's happy. That no one's lost a game. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so everybody's no one's going to make any moves. But we're always trying to be that one step ahead and make sure when someone does call that. Uh, we can figure out what we need to do. Good stuff. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Appreciate Always insightful. It. Thank you.